Welcome back to the video here on the Quilt Show. Show. Today we crack it open. New Lou's Bourbon Whiskey Finished in Maple Bills. This is a Cypress Craft Beer pick with Orange County Bourbon Society. They do have a nice tater sticker on the back which has chicken and waffles with a bottle pouring maple syrup on top. I think it's a really good tater sticker there. So let's crack it open and see what it tastes like. All right, let's go in for our nose. Yeah, this proof, <laughs> it definitely comes off very uh, adamant and very high. Okay, so this is at 119.4 proof. It does seem a lot higher than that. It, it seems like over it's over hazmat. But it's super sugary, very like nice caramelized sugars. Almost like rock candy almost. It's like that, you get like that maple kind of syrupy, kind of tree, kind of oak, kind of like um, wood nose on it. Yeah, no, that is a... Uh, that proof really stands out. That it seems a lot higher than 119. It's just like heat, and like it just like the top of my nose and my sinuses are just filled with like heat and warmth just from smelling it in. Probably gonna let this sit for a little bit to open up, but so far around the on the get go, it's a lot of heat. But just that proof heat. A lot of sweetness. I like that maple, all that. But it's more of like a honey, wood, caramelized rock candy sugar nose. Maybe like little like tree leaves and stuff like that. With a hint of like cinnamon. Maybe like a hint of rye as well. Not sure what the mash bill they use on this, but probably has a good amount of rye in it, possibly. I don't know if it says anything on the front. Just give me a barrel number. The back is just covered up by the sticker, so not that much information. So, let's go in for a taste. Coats the palate. Nice warmth all through the palate. Coats the palate very nicely. Very thick. And your mouth warms it up and kind of thins out. Definitely get like that. Um, like a honey, maple, oak, with a nice cinnamon. Yeah, you definitely get like that, that maple. Like, I know it's a maple barrel finish, but you can really like, taste like that maple, like that tree, leaves, like bark, the sap, all that. It just really, uh, really just stands out. Yeah, nice cinnamon. The rye is not much on the palate as it was on the nose. I think that's probably from just the heat. And all the other noses that was going on to it, it's just kind of combination. Seeing a little higher rye. Yeah. It's almost like you try to make your own maple syrup, or you may try to make your own like uh, syrup for like your pancakes with whiskey. You put use a lot of sugar. Maple syrup, caramel, like a tad of vanilla, and you cooked it, but you cooked it all together, then you added the whiskey in, and then you put it in, you really thinned it out with the whiskey. This is literally what you're getting in the glass. Has those nice, nice mint on the back, has like that mint fresh on the back of the palate. 
That's kind of fun. Kind of nice. I like this. Oh, yeah. In front of the palette and everything, I like how it coats the palette. It's a nice coat on there. And as your palette warms it up, it thins out and like kind of dissolves and disappears. It's a very nice mouthfeel. Probably that's from all the extra sugars that are in there that are doing that. But no, I really like this. <sighs> yeah. Pretty much what do you expect for what's going on in the glass? Like that nice mint. Still get the rye on the nose. Yeah, it has a nice wood, nice like toasted oak, but with a nice like tree, maple syrup, caramel, vanilla, caramelized sugars, and then also has like a nice like rock candy on there. With like a nice like hint of mint on the back end. I almost want to say like that pepper can you get from like uh, Elijah Craig, but... It's almost like a, I want to say like a white pepper, but it's like freshly ground or it's still in the, the corn, the peppercorns. Yeah, just a nice, super nice sweetness. It's definitely something I want to pour on some waffles now. But thanks again for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next week. May the best of your past, we'll see you in the future. Cheers, guys.